What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have some Star Wars news, but before we do get into that, remember hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars here on this channel. Don't forget, also, I have a membership program and a merch store. Without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Now, we know that the Grand Inquisitor was introduced in Star Wars Rebels and appeared in the Kenobi series as the leader of the Inquisitorious program. Now, with Tales of the Empire being set before both shows and his death in Rebels, the Grand Inquisitor will appear as the person responsible for inducting Barriss Offee into his Order of the Dark Side users. Now, interestingly, Barriss and the Grand Inquisitor may unknowingly be acquainted with one another as hinted at by one Star Wars reveal in Rebels. Now, in Rebels, it was confirmed that the Grand Inquisitor was once a Jedi Temple Guard. Now, these yellow lightsaber-wielding guards stood watch over the Jedi Temple on Coruscant during the time of the Republic including when Barriss Offee bombed the building in the Clone Wars. Other than the brief reveal in Rebels, little about the Grand Inquisitor's Jedi's past has been revealed. Now, with Tales of the Empire being the prime opportunity, they can do so with that. And if it is mentioned that the Grand Inquisitor was still a Jedi Temple Guard when Barriss bombed the Temple, Tales of the Empire could tie his fall from the light to the same moment as Barriss. Now, Barriss's range primarily drove the Jedi Temple bombing as she believed the Jedi had lost sight of what they were supposed to be. Now, this caused further discourse, such as Ahsoka Tano being framed and subsequently becoming disillusioned with the Jedi herself. Now, with two people already losing faith in the Jedi Order, it could be written that the same happened with the Grand Inquisitor. Star Wars is the Clone Wars could be retconned by revealing that one of the guards in the blast was the Grand Inquisitor with the potential death of his peers putting him on a dark path. Similarly, the Grand Inquisitor could be revealed as one of the guards who arrested Barriss Offee and witnessed her trial alongside Anakin Skywalker, witnessing the disillusionment of the Jedi firsthand. All of this could have driven the Grand Inquisitor to abandon the Jedi himself putting him on the path of the Inquisitorious long before the events of Tales of the Empire, which is something that I hope we get to see also with Darth Vader maybe potentially recruiting him or Palpatine and just seeing how the Inquisitorious program came to life. Listen, I'm all in for Tales of the Empire and what they're going to bring to us and hopefully we get more seasons of it. For more Star Wars content like this, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget to have a merch store and a membership program, and I'll catch you guys in the comment section and in tomorrow's video.